Hi, I'm Anthony, and I'm going to show you how to get your Power Paws T25 set up in five simple steps. The Power Paws T25 is one of the first POS hardware solutions that operate on iOS, Android, and Windows. So if you're ready, let's get started. When you open your T25, you will have your important step guide, your Power Paws T25 stand, which comes in either a universal mount or an iPad Air mount, a roll of thermal printer paper, a power brick, and a connector cable, which will be different for the country in which you're going to be installing it at. You'll also have connectors for the tablet so that they can connect to the USB ports on the T25. And finally, you'll have a quick reference guide. Step one is going to be for you to plug in the power brick to the T25. Now it's important that you only plug in the power brick and not plug it into the wall at this point. If you have a cash drawer, now would be the time to plug in the cash drawer as well. And don't forget to put on your cable retention cover. This helps to ensure that your cable stays in place and your T25 stays plugged in. The thing we want to do is make sure we plug in all the pieces at the base of the T25 first before we install the tablet. It's important that you use the correct cash drawer cable with the Power T25. The Power Paws cash drawer comes with the correct cable in the box. However, the T25 will work with any 24 volt cash drawer as long as you use the appropriate cable. A APG 320 Multi Pro cash drawer cable kit will work with your 24 volt cash drawers. Remember, after plugging in your power brick and the cash drawer cable, do not plug it into the wall yet. The next step is for us to turn on your tablet. It's important that the tablet is turned on before you connect it to the T25. The Power T25 supports a range of tablets from iOS, Android, and Windows. For a list of the currently supported tablets, Go online to the PowerPod site. Next, you connect the tablet to the T25. Make sure you connect the tablet to the USB port underneath the neck of the T25, not to the base of the unit. Also, the iPad Air units come with the cables already pre-connected, so there's no need to run a cable there. The next step is to insert the full-size receipt paper into the T25. Make sure you open the cover and insert the paper properly. The final step is to plug in the T25. Simply plug in the cord to the wall and plug into the cord to the power brick. Two things you should notice. One, the printer will advance slightly to let you know that the T25 is receiving power. And two, you will see your tablet is being charged. The next step is to print a sample receipt using the Power Pause hardware testing utility. You can find this utility on the PowerPods website or any additional information such as setup or getting started guys on the website as well. Thank you for your time watching this video. Please come back soon for additional tips and tutorials on your PowerPods products.